Hi folks, so is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So let's see what's going to come out today for you. We have Our Connection is Going Nowhere. Vicious Cycles, Empty Promises. Okay. We have Not Ready, Walls Up, Avoiding, Still Healing and Shadow Work. We have Can You Forgive Me? regrets, multiple chances and healing. Okay, so um, straight away you see we're getting these sort of like, we're seeing this like round and round circle cycles energy and we're also seeing like a flick between this connection's not going anywhere and then like an approach, can you forgive me? Sort of extending the hand. So some of you are dealing with someone here who is in and out of your life. This person's in and out of your life, um, when they're in your life and things are going well, all of a sudden, you know, they may say something that's indicating that the relationship's not going anywhere, or they will pull back. They will say they're not ready, you know, you'll get that avoidant energy from them. And then you'll start to sort of like turn away from them. And then after a period of time, they reach out again. Okay, they reach out, they express some sort of sorrow, um, they want another chance. I meet you in my dreams is coming out. Twin Flame Journey is on that card. I wish things were different between us. See, regrets. It says regrets on that card. And look at the imagery on this card as well. So some of you could be resonating with Twin Flame. There's a bit of mirroring going on here. I meet you in my dreams. You could both be dreaming about each other. But it seems that things seem to be stuck in, you know, a bit of like a repeating cycle at this time between you and this person. It's like you can't break free of this and like get to that next stage. So where is my tarot deck? Over here. So we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and we have the Sun. So things are going well between you and this person and this person's taking passionate action towards you. You can feel, you know, the desire, the passion. Uh, and then all of a sudden there's like a break that's put on. This person puts up walls, defences. This looks like it's happened multiple times. Yeah, look, Ace of Cups. So we're getting not ready and then we're getting Ace of Cups. So uh, this person's like pushing you away and then kind of like, you know, pulling you back in. Ace of Swords, conversations, you know, they may be trying to open up to you, talk to you, trying to um, get that sort of ball rolling on some sort of new beginning. Wish things were different. Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. So whenever you guys are like apart from each other, whenever you guys are in silence and this person's like not ready and they're hiding and they're ducking and they're diving, um, I do see this person, yeah, well, I'm getting dreaming about you. This person thinks about you a lot and they think about missing an opportunity. So when they're not with you, when they're not giving you attention, when there's like silence and separation, this person's doing nothing but think about you. And then they show up, things seem to be good and then it happens again. This person pulls back. They get triggered in some sort of way. They're saying they're not ready. For some of you, this person could be tied to like a, an independent lifestyle. You know, maybe this person did not want or expect, you know, to develop feelings or a serious connection. I meet you in my dreams. The Five of Swords. And the Knight of Cups, yeah, so it, it just feels to me like this person can't really, you know, escape your energy. So uh, even during the day, this person's thinking about you, but then at night, this person's having these like romantic dreams and it's making them feel a little bit like they've kind of shot themselves in the foot a little bit. So um, I think it's pushing them to sort of like reach out. Yeah, because look, this Knight of Cups is looking at this card. <laughs> Can you forgive me? It's just that this person doesn't seem to be able to like sustain it. So if you're not talking to this person right now, you know, um, there seems to be ideas around like reaching out, communicating. Seven of Wands and Ace of Wands. You see that block still is there, you know, I'm still seeing that like this Ace of Wands is like 
the more predominant energy we see in the Knight of Wands and the Sun back here, like this person showing up into your life, like very much on fire, uh, pursuing very, very heavily. And then like putting the brakes on, saying they're not ready. And then showing back up again and then putting the, the brakes on. And hmm. You see, this person doesn't really know what to do because when they are like connecting with you, um, there's intense passion here, uh, but there's also like feelings developing. So they're trying to like maintain that distance by running away. But when they run away, they end up thinking about you like more um, and dreaming about you and all of this. So yeah, um, it seems like something's going round and round and I have death at the bottom. So there needs to be some sort of like change, you know, in what's going on here before there can be, you know, this sort of like breakthrough energy. So let's see. What is this person thinking about you? The Five of Wands and the Six of Wands. So they're thinking about overcoming some sort of um, obstacle, problem. So if you guys are not talking right now, there's been a fight, an argument. It looks like your backs are turned to each other currently. The Six of Swords with the Seven of Swords. This person is thinking about how you guys can find some sort of hmm, resolution after maybe their last sort of mask wearing cycle because you see to me it looks like this person's sort of thinking to themselves okay well you know I've done this a few times you know I've done this a few times I have come back I came back there you know in we'll say March and um I said this that and the other and I, I didn't I didn't I wasn't able to keep it up I wasn't able to maintain it so like if I come back in now you know she's or he's going to know that there's like a mask I wish things were different. The hermit, the wheel. See, this is what this, this person's thinking whenever you guys are apart, whenever you guys are no longer together. When they have pulled back, they sit and they think and they wish that things could be different. But it's this person that's like pulling back all the time. I meet you in my dreams. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's very sort of ooh, energy. Uh, can you forgive me? Five of Cups. There's some sort of sadness or regret here over something that's happened here in the past. So if you guys are fighting like at this current time or you're not talking to each other, um, this person is feeling you know regret over something here that happened. Um, that's not the issue because I'm not really seeing this person coming across like as a super, you know, nefarious person or anything. That's not the issue. The issue is that this person needs to figure out what it is that they are wanting, you know, before they start um, coming in and out of your life because that's not fair. So let's see, what does this person like truly want? What does their heart want? The sun. Judgment. Did you want this change? Like you want this change. You don't want to be stuck in the cycle where you're going round and round with this person constantly. Like you're tired, you're fed up with it. Some of you are thinking about moving on from the situation. It's just been going on for too long. This person is also indicating that they do want some sort of change. But there's that not ready card. High Priestess and Empress. I wish things were different. King of Coins, I meet you in my dreams. The Ten of Coins, can you forgive me? Three of Wands. Okay, for some of you there could be, you know, third parties. <laughs> uh, for some of you, um, there is. You know, this person could be taken. Uh, or you could be taken. Or maybe you guys just never got, you know, the timing sort of right in, in the sense that you were both, like, completely single. Um, I am seeing this person here wanting to create some sort of change but um they're they're not really ready they're not really keeping they're keeping all of this to themselves they're kind of stuck in that energy where they feel like things can't really go anywhere even though they do want some sort of change i wish things were different between us if this person's like in another relationship or you are or there's some sort of reason why you guys cannot be together um this could be impacting on this person as well it could be family
this person is um, anticipating some sort of moment between you both here in the future where they will be able to try to make amends between both of you. So let's see. I just saw the Knight of Wands and the Fool. What can you expect from this person? There is a bit of a pause here. I think some of you are expecting to hear from this person and it is because this has happened so many times before like you know that this person is going to show back up so you need to decide as well you know on what it is that you're wanting um out of this you both need to get clear you know on that so let's see king of coins So for some of you, this is all around stepping up into this sort of energy for this person, where this person can be like committed to you. For others, this person is committed to somebody else. Ten of Wands. Cross with the Page of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Wheel. Two of Coins. Yeah, look, Ace of Coins is the intention. So five of Coins chariot, the six of coins, the queen of cups and the nine of cups. Okay so um, I would reckon with what I'm seeing here that at this current time things are you know quite difficult between both of you possibly in terms of communication so you could be on the outs after some sort of fight or argument and I do see that this person has every intention of uh, reaching out to you, every intention of it, but it does look like it is with a bit of a delay. So um, it's not too long, like I'm not really seeing um, a couple of months really. And then I'm seeing this person like reaching out. You're viewing this person as sort of like coming at you very, very quickly here in the future, trying to um, talk to you, trying to get your attention. And like, I mean, you do seem to be happy that this person is, you know, uh, showing up or approaching you. But at the same time, it's like, is it with change though? So let's see. Oh, the hermit. The five of cups, the six of coins. I'm seeing it being exactly um, like what it was in the past. So exactly what it was before in the past. I'm not really seeing any change at all with this person. Um, I have got the seven of wands underneath. Yeah, so there is like um, a block, you know, here still with this person. They're still emotionally guarded. Um, so if you're waiting for that like outpouring of you know emotions from this person, um, I really would not expect that. Um, it's saying they're showing up exactly like they did in the past. So how they did in the past um, was that Knight of Wands energy, wasn't it? So they're, they're letting themselves down, essentially. They're letting themselves down. Because when I'm looking at their intentions here, their intentions are a lot more than what they actually show up as. It's because they're in this like silent energy between you both and they're like thinking about you loads um, and they're, they're making like grander plans. But see when this person shows up, it is in a lesser energy. It is what you had in the past. It's not with that improvement. Yeah, look, there's you and you're expecting change. You are expecting this death energy. But I think there's some sort of death energy around you also because I'm seeing you putting yourself first in this situation. Like when this person shows up and you notice straight away that there is like no change within this person's energy, um, you're choosing you in this situation. So for some of you, you do feel like this person's the one that's making all the choices and decisions, but like they're not. Um, I'm seeing you having like the sort of final say in all of this here in the future. And to me, it looks like you're choosing yourself. Your intuition is telling you to choose yourself. Look, Eight of Cups. Yeah, disconnect and walk away because this person's just holding back. This person, yeah, if there's like another, um, if there is any third parties or anything like that uh, at all, so if this person's like married or in a relationship, then um, this person could be wanting to, you know, hold on to you, but, you know, as this Queen of Wands energy in their life. But um, I am seeing you choosing um, yourself in this situation. You're choosing you. So uh, despite, you know, 
this person's sort of like approach. So that is what I am seeing. I hope that that has helped. Thank you very, very much. And I hope you all have lovely days. Thank you. Bye-bye.